Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Amazon Fire HD 10 tablet. This is a 2021 edition. First thing first, let's go over it. So on the front we do have 10.1 inch screen. There's definitely some bezels going all the way around. It does have this three directional buttons which definitely helps. So you can do recent apps, you can also go to the menu and the back button. Now on the side we have quite a few things going on. We have 3.5 millimeter headphone jack so you can use the wider headset with this tablet. We also have USB-C for charging. We have the power lock button and the volume rockers here. On top, we have a couple speakers. And then on this other side, we don't have anything. And also on this side, we do have SD card expansion. Let me see if I can just open that. So you just pop it out, pop in the SD card. If you do end up needing more storage. And on the back of the tablet, we do have 5 megapixel rear facing camera. Also on the front, we do have 2 megapixel front facing cameras for some video chats or taking some selfies. All right, next, let's talk about the screen. What we have here is 10.1 inches, 1920 times 1200 pixels, 16 to 10 ratio, 224 pixels per inch. This is IPS LCD. Uh, when it comes to the screen itself, pretty good resolution. Also, it does have pretty good colors. The brightness is definitely bright enough. I mean, I have taken this outside and it works pretty good, but most of the time, I'm using an inside. And whenever I'm using it on the inside, I definitely have to lower the brightness. So the screen itself, very bright, very vibrant, and I do like the colors. Next, let's talk about the performance. When it comes to the CPU, it comes with the MediaTek Helio MT8182. 3 CPU, which is octa-core processor. It also comes with 3 gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of storage. You can also get it with 64 gigabytes. And as I mentioned earlier, there's a spot for the SD card expansion where you can put in up to one terabyte SD card. Now, when it comes to the operating system, this runs kind of a combo of Android and Fire OS. Fire OS is what you see, but uh, in the background, it is based off the Android. Um, now, I, I'm still receiving all the latest updates. When it comes to the overall day-to-day -day performance, it's pretty good. It's very smooth. I don't have any issues. Now, what I use this mostly is to play some arcade games. I also like doing Kindle books and Audible books on this. Uh, from time to time, I will play some videos like Amazon Prime Video or the Netflix and stuff like that. Uh, maybe a little bit of browsing, but mostly I'm using it for media consumption. So watching videos, reading books and playing games. And overall, it's been really, really good so far. I have no complaints. Now, this isn't the uh, best performing tablet, but it's not meant to be. This is a very budget friendly now, when it comes to the battery life, I'm getting, I would say, around 11, 12 hours of battery life. Um, when it comes to the charging, it's, it doesn't support fast charging, so it will take, I would say, anywhere between three, four hours to get it charged fully. But as I mentioned earlier, it does have two cameras, five megapixel on the back, which takes 720p uh, HD recording, also has that two megapixel on the front. Cameras themselves will do the job. You can do some recordings, you can do some pictures in a pinch, but most of us will probably never even end up using this camera. So, but they are there, you do have dual cameras on this tablet. Some of the things that I do love about this tablet is definitely the display. It has pretty decent display, Good resolution. I do enjoy the brightness and the colors. I also love the fact that this does have 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. A lot of people maybe don't care about that, but personally, I do end up using uh, wired headphones, and I do love that it does have that 3.5. I don't need to use the adapter. Um, another thing that I love is battery life. It lasts really long time. I was doing a lot of stuff, and usually it would last between 10 to 12 hours of battery life. So that's pretty good in my book. I also like the operating system. I end up using quite a lot of Amazon devices and I love the fact that it does support Alexa. I can connect my lights. I can connect my other smart devices to this and it really works good with this tablet. Um, I do like the overall feel. I do like this front menu where you do have your library of the stuff you have. Also, it does have some recommendations on this side and the home menu. It's all the apps you do have. So, and here it will give you some discover. You can actually remove that if you want to, but I do like to keep it. Sometimes I might see some stuff or some movies that I do enjoy. Overall, this is still a pretty good tablet and I would definitely recommend that. Thank you guys for watching.